What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be walking you through the OS 10 10.8.5 update. Now I'm going to be doing this a little bit different than I have in the past. I'm going to be doing this on two separate machines and two different ways. I made a video a while back on the differences between a Delta update and a combo update, but on this main machine right here, the one you're seeing, uh, this is my three year old machine. This is my uh, first generation Core i7 socket 1366 Hackintosh. On this machine, I'm going to be running this Delta update here right from the App Store, and I'm also going to be running the update on a Z77 based platform which I'm sure many more of you guys have and with that I'm gonna be doing the combo update so really there's no particular reason why I picked you know the Delta update for my main machine here and the combo for the other it could be done either way but um, I just figured out this way would be easiest and so right here as you can see I have the Mac OS 10 update 10.8.5 pulled up from the App Store and this isn't gonna be a huge update it seems that most of the fixes here are you know network related so uh, you know uh, fixes an issue that may prevent mail from displaying messages uh, that's of course not good. Uh, it improves AFP file transfer performance over AC Wi-Fi. So things like that. This isn't a huge update. You know, if you just spent hours getting your machine up and running, this is your first time of being a Hackintosh guy, then uh, you might just want to leave your your system right where it is because there's no groundbreaking features here. Although I will say that if you're planning on building a Haswell Hackintosh, then this is the first iteration of Mac OS X that actually supports that natively. So uh, you know, this is a hint of things that come with Mavericks right around the corner, probably coming sometime in October. But uh, you know, if you have a 10.8.4 machine up and running perfectly right now on your your older hardware or you know your Z77 platform, and you really just don't want to mess with it, then you know maybe you can just stay behind on the updates for now, and then maybe make the jump to Mavericks later. But then again, if you're like me and you like being updated, then definitely be sure to back up your system before you do any kind of updates ever. That's just a, a very good guideline. But um, yeah, if, so if you guys want to do the update, it really shouldn't be all that bad. But you know that's what this video is all about. So. Uh, with that said, I'm just going to go ahead and run the update. As you can see, the update is finished downloading. The update came in at around 300 megabytes or so. And so with that said, make sure you have a backup and I'm just going to simply click restart. After letting the update do its thing for about two and a half minutes, the machine reboots successfully back into OS X. As usual, I didn't have any audio, but a simple reinstallation of my audio kernel extension will fix that. Moving over to the Z77 system, I'll be using the combo update from Apple's website to perform the update. The hardware used in this system is the Gigabyte Z77M D3H MVP motherboard, an NVIDIA 9800 GTX Plus graphics card, and an Intel Core i3-3225 processor. Now if you've never looked for a combo update on the internet, it's very easy to find. It's right on Apple's website right here, and how you get to this is very simple. You go to Google, you type 10.8.5 or whatever version, combo, and most likely it's going to be like the first or second link. So right here, this is right from apple.com and all you do is click download. Now because this is the full version of the update, it's the combo update and not the delta update, this is going to be a fairly significant download. As you can see right here, this was about 871 megabytes as opposed to the roughly 300 or so from the delta update. So keep that in mind, uh, you know, the combo update is the full update, therefore it's also a lot bigger to download. And now once you have it downloaded, it's simply right here, runs as a DMG, uh, you know, very common OS X format, just a disk image. And now all you do is execute the package. So we're just going to double click that. Continue, continue. We're going to read through all of these fine terms. And of, of course we're going to agree. And uh, right here, all you do is click install, enter that extremely secure password, and you're off. As you can see, the installation was indeed successful. Now let's see if it was actually successful, and we'll give the system a reboot. After another quick reboot, the system once again booted back up successfully. As you can see, the 10.8.5 update seemed to work flawlessly on not one, but two different platforms. So after a quick backup, I can recommend updating to it. However, keep in mind that your results may vary from what you've seen here. The success of any update depends entirely on the compatibility of your hardware. Let me know your experiences with the 10.8.5 update down below in the comments. I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. Also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and I hope to see you guys back here very soon.